Hello dear students, I hope you are well. You click here on the start menu and you will search for Excel E X C E L. Okay, you will find it. Click. Maximize. Okay, choose blank workbook. First, you will find here sheet one. You can rename this name to any other name, like like grade six. Right click, rename grade six. Enter. Okay. Now. If I want to add your name list and your subjects and your grades, how can I make it? Here I can write serial. For example, five students. Here I can click one, enter. Okay. You can write one, two, enter, three, enter, four, enter, five. Or you can make another special and easier thing so how can I make it select these cells right click clear contents to remove the numbers so how can I fill the cells with a series you see the small square here yes this one click on it then drag down you will find like that similar cells or you can click here fill series so now you can see it two three four five here I will write student name then okay you see here student name is bigger than the cell in order to make the cell bigger I can drag it like that but it's larger than the words so if I click here double click you see this line between C and D if I click here double click so it will be the same size and here also between the two columns double click okay first student name Muhammad Ahmed Ali Iman and Sarah okay So here write the subjects English for example English when I finish writing I can move to the other cell with the key arrows of the keyboard or with the mouse I can click here with the mouse okay Arabic math French Science. Okay, and here I will write total. And now I want to create a table. So how can I make it? I will select the first cell, click, then drag. I still clicking, drag. Okay. You see this arrow, click on it, then choose all borders, like that, now you have a table. Now I want to make the words bigger, this row is a title, so I can 
and select these cells then I can choose my ties mm, for example 20 okay I can change um, the style if I want I can make it bold okay click here double click also yes all of them like that between the two columns you see on the line I can change also the rest of the words select them all now I want to let the words to be in the middle of the cell and in the center of the cell how click here and here okay then I can make it for example 14 I think it would be well and I can also change the color select I will make every student with a different color choose red and here and here select blue here green and here purple last one make it mm, orange okay so <coughs> now the grades of Muhammad will be for example 100 90 98 99 96 100 99 96 95 90 Ali 100 95 98 97 89 Iman 96 100 99 89 and 96 Sarah 88 100 100 96 97 now I want to calculate the total here I will make a formula to calculate I can write here or when I click on a cell I can write here also you see this is a formula bar so I will write now just to calculate that means that I will make sum so I will write equal sum s u m okay here you will find sum click double click it will open automatically a bracket now which cells I want to, to make the sum of them or calculate the sum of them English, Arabic, Math, French, Science for Muhammad. So click here, first cell. If I want to click on another cell, I should click Control, the button which you can find with letters C T R L. Control. Click Control and still pressing on it, then click the rest of the cells Arabic, Math, French science okay then you should close the bracket shift zero zero not not the zero um, you will find at the right no you will find the same you will find the same bracket on the bottom zero on the bottom zero then click shift zero now you see you can see it here clearly okay then I will click enter you see now the calculation is totally you see now the cell you see now here you will find 
you see now here you have the total calculated automatically the question here if I change any of these numbers it will calculate automatically also or I should make it again or I have to create the formula again no it will calculate automatically if I came here on Arabic then I change it for 95 instead of 90 watch this total it has been changed automatically and so on for the rest of the cells equal sum double click select the cells close the brackets shift zero enter another way I can choose the cells with dragging the mouse how put the cursor on the first cell then drag it like that click move ok then shift 0 enter Again, equal, sum, double click, click, drag, shift zero, enter. If I want to make another formula, I can choose it from here. Go to sum. Click on the arrow. You will find sum, average. Average if I want to find the average of these subjects, all of them. Okay. Uh, count numbers, max, maximum, and minimum. So, if I want to um, calculate the average you write here average ok and here um, maximum max minimum first click to draw the table all borders okay then you will find the average of what so click here on the cell then click on the arrow click on the average now we want to find the average of the subjects except the total so we will edit here you can edit here but it's but it's better to edit here so click here delete I letter I letter I um, this is the column that includes the total letter I which you can find total so you will delete I and write capital H capital H you see the difference 
now you will find the average from English to science only okay click enter and this is the average okay maximum also click on the cell then click here choose max now delete J and write capital H enter minimum click here minimum delete K and write capital H okay I can make something very easy to calculate the other students okay click here then click on this small square like that click keep clicking then drag down here is the average for Ahmed okay and here the average for Ali and so on okay the same here click on click on the cell click on the small square and the drag like that okay and here click keep clicking drag okay select the cells uh, do you remember the size of the font okay click here we find 14 so select here make it 14 click here then here select color with red and here select color with blue select color with green select purple yellow no orange sorry orange okay this is the end of our lesson i hope you understand it well Good luck.